Hello guys, this is Ifti. In this video, I'm going to talk about multivariable chain rule and its derivation. So, let's say we have a function f of x, y, x and y, uh, two variable function where x is a function of t and y is also a function of another function of t. Then we differentiate respect to t, then we get this expression where we have um, in the first term it's a function of x and y but um, evaluate it at a t plus del t that's at the second term it's evaluated at t that means the change is del t when del t approaches zero we get our derivative so we add and subtract this term here um, which is f of x of t y of t plus del t minus sorry it's plus um, f of x of t y of t t plus del t okay these two terms are basically the same um, and its color same uh, so these two terms cancel out and we get this term back now we bring this t outside uh, outside of the bracket then we get this type of expression now it's uh, basically we are, we are multiplying t and splitting up these two expressions this expression here is this expression and this expression here is this expression so this is um, uh, say the f, f of x y function looks like this from uh, perspective of x ignoring y um, then between t and uh, t plus del t there will be a point where the function has a slope which is equal to the slope of these two uh, slope of this uh, these two points which is called mean value theorem so we can say that f of x of t plus del t which is this point here f of x of t which is this point here if we subtract then uh, divided by del t this line over here then we get uh, then we get a slope which is this white line but there must contain a point cx that has the same slope that that blue line so we write down um, derivative of x uh, derivative of f which is evaluated at cx this is the mean value theorem then we apply mean value theorem in our expression over here so this term the above term it has also f of x t plus del t and uh, y the constant term then f of x t y the constant term it looks similar to this one right then we can put f of cx here instead of this and also if we um, examine the line y instead of x there would will be another point cy that will be that will that will give us slope that corresponds to uh, y line and we can replace that uh, this expression by f prime uh, cy then if we um, break down this expression it looks like this because uh, if we differentiate f we first differentiate respect to x then we differentiate x respect to t 
using single variable chain rule. We do the same over here. Then we replace this expression by these expressions. Okay, then we get this term. Then if uh, the limit of del t uh, approaches 0, the cx approaches t because we can see uh, this line here is um, del t. When it, it approaches 0, then these two points get closer, closer and closer, closer. Then uh, they became c, cx. That means we can say that at this point, c, del t be, uh, tends to, if del t tends to 0, cx tends to t because these two points are getting closer. Same goes for CY, it, it tends to T. Then we can write down, uh, we can replace the CX by T. So, the final expression, speak, uh, expression becomes DU DT equal the partial of U respect to X partial, uh, not partial, dx dx dt plus partial of u respect to y dy dt this is the multivariable chain rule thanks for watching guys um, and sorry for my bad english uh, i tried my best um, if you like the video please uh, uh, like comment and share and subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any questions please comment and uh, let me know thank you thanks for watching the video